Hey guys, it's Loves to Loom here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create this really cute love darts bracelet. This was created by Suzanne HB on YouTube. You can also find her on Instagram as Crazy Just Might Work, and I will have her links in the box below so you can check her out and give her a follow. Um, this bracelet was originally designed by her, by her quite some time ago. We just haven't had a chance to get it out there yet. And when she did it, it was a hook-only design. Um, but today, I'm going to be doing it hook and loom just to hopefully be able to reach a lot more people being able to make it in case you're not that fond or maybe not that good at doing just the hook-only designs. Um, so, this does take about 60 bands to make, depending on your wrist size. And without wasting your time any further, let's get started. To make this bracelet, you will want to have your hook, two pins, and one C-clip. We're going to do a combination of hook and the loom. So, for starters, we're going to make a triple cap band on our hook. This first cap band is going to be the cap band color that goes on the outside of the like single band, which is the dark orange in this one. So, I'm going to use dark my darker pink. So one, two, three. And I'm using my limited edition bands. I think they work nice with this design. So push that cap band down. We're not going to do anything with that right now. And now we're going to make a cap band um, with our single chain band color and then pull a single band through. So place it on your hook, wrap it, and place it on again, making a cap band. Grab that same color and we're just going to pull it through that cap band. Like so. Now before we do anything else, I do advise you to add a C-clip onto the cap band here. And you'll see why in a moment that it makes it easier. Because we don't want to lose that triple cap band that we're going to pull over. So just attach that onto that, to the bottom. So it's just kind of sitting at the bottom. And now we can pull this triple cap band over our um, single band. For the first time, it's kind of easier to use my other hand. So it should look like that now. And now we're going to use our loom. So we're just going to take this and apply it to our pin. Like so. And now we're going to split those two bands. So grab the top band and just stretch it over to the right side. Like so. And this is why we use the C-clip so we don't lose that copy in there. Um, so there are parts of this bracelet where I learned the technique from the Cheese Thief on YouTube and Instagram. Um, so I think she makes things a little bit easier to do. So. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and place on my gold band, which is going to be the color of my heart. And we're going to bring the bottom band up on the right side. And now we're going to take this gold band and cross it over and reattach it to the right pin. Like so. Grab another gold band, stretch it across, and bring up the bottom band on the left side. Like so. We're not going to cross back that gold though, not yet. So now we need to add the cap band onto the inner part of our heart. I'm going to use light pink for that. So we need our hook again. We're going to make a triple cap band. One, two, and three. So we need to add this cap band onto the top two bands on this right pin here. Now so I don't lose any bands, I'll pull them off. I grab the two top bands and I just kind of pull it out, put your cap band on them. And once it's on there, then you can just kind of pop it up like so and pull it so it's in the middle like that. And now we're going to split these two bands and attach the left to the left side and the right to the right. So just be careful not to lose anything. Reattach. And reattach like so. All right, so we're going to go ahead and add on a single single chain band now. So that would be my pearl. Add that straight across, and we're just simply going to bring up the two bottom bands on the right and the left, like so. You can give your bracelet a little bit of a pull. 
and we can and if this bottom cap in is actually supposed to be on that single one so you can just kind of pull that up if it slid out um, but we can fix little things like that later so now we need our hook again so we're gonna wrap a triple cap band our dark pink because it's going on the outside of our single one like so you're going to go up on the right pin picking up that band and then you're going to go down on the left side because you're basically just picking it up so that it's on your hook and now we're going to pull the triple cap band over come on there we go <laughs> like so and like I said you can fix the little um, if they're not even or whatever. So now we're going to place this back on our loom again. So we just had to take it off to get that cat band on there. So I'm going to place the whole thing on one pin. And then we'll split it once we get it on there. I usually use my lap to hold my loom. It makes it a lot easier. But clearly I can't do that while I'm filming. Um, so once you have it back on the loom, grab the top band, pull it over to the right like so, so we have that split and now we're going to add our uh, make our heart again so we're going to grab a gold band place it on your loom bring up the bottom band on the right side now you're going to grab the gold band from the left and bring it over to the right and reattach to the pin add on another gold band bring up your left bottom band like so push that down and we need to add the triple cap band onto the inner side like we did on this one here so we're going to do put that on the top two bands on the right side so get your light color like I did make a triple cap band on your hook we're going to grab these two top bands on the right pin and we're going to slide this triple cap band on like so and we're going to split these two bands attach the right to the right and the left to the left like so I'm just gonna fix my cap band it's kind of sliding there we go going back to my pearl this is the single chain band we're gonna bring up the two bottom bands and do the same on the left like so and now we're going to need to do the cap in for the outer part of the single chain. So I'm going to grab my dark pink, make a triple cap band, we're going to pick up this pearl band off of our loom so that it's on our hook and now we're going to pull that triple cap band onto that. like so now reattach it to your loom and now we need to split it so grab the top band pull it over like so so we're just going to continue doing that so I'm going to add my gold for my hearts bring up the bottom bring over the top band add another gold bring up the bottom now we need to add the inner cap band onto our gold so you'll need your hook make your triple cap band and grab your two bands and pull that on now we're going to 
going to split these again. And I'm sure you guys are probably well aware used to doing um, this technique because I've seen it done a lot by the cheese thief. So I'm sure you guys have it down packed. Now we're going to add our pearl band on. Bring up the two bottom bands. I'm going to add on my cap band to my hook, the one that goes on my single chain band. Like so. And we are going to pick this up. And we're going to pull that cap band over. And as we did before, we're going to place it back onto our loom. And now split the top two. So grab the top one. I didn't mean to say two. <laughs> split the top. All right. So I'm just going to keep going ahead and doing this, and you can certainly follow along. And you can certainly do this strictly using your hook, um, and I'm quite confident that anyone who is advanced or does a lot of hook-only designs will easily be able to figure out how to do this um, you know, simply using just the hook. But I wanted to do it this way just in case there was anyone that wanted to make it but wasn't quite, um, you know, as fond of using just the hook. So hopefully everyone can use this technique to make it. I don't know why I put it on the right pin that time. It doesn't matter which side you put it on. So I'm going to go ahead off camera and just finish up the length of it and then I'll come back and show you when I have mine completed and then we can close it up together. Okay, so just to close it up, um, once you're at the point where it's on your hook and you just slid the cap band on to the single chain, all you're going to do is simply connect that to your C-clip. So it's super easy closure. It is a little bit tight, so just to forewarn you, but just grab the ends and slip it on. And 
like so. And obviously my bracelet's small, but um, to clean it up a little bit, just um, make sure that all of your outside cap bands are in the centers and not like pushed up or down. Um, and then you can make your heart stand out more by grabbing the bands and just pulling them out. And it gives that cute little heart look. And by the way, the bracelet goes upside down in order for it to get that love dart look. So remember, this was created by the wonderful Crazy Just Might Work on Instagram. You can also find her on YouTube as Suzanne HB. Please check her out. She has some really super awesome designs. You can also find me on Instagram at Loves to Loom. Make sure you tag us if you make this Love Darts bracelet. And I will see you out in my next video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.